This is part of the Bellagio. A really big a hotel. Not the biggest one on the strip, but it's pretty big. Okay. That's we're going inside. Ooh, the Volvi doors. We're going inside. Glasswork flowers. And uh Guy Fox Samurai from the look of it. This is in the lobby. This is the lobby of the Bellagio. It's yes it is. It is beautiful. As mom said. Another fancy, very fancy fountain. Yep, and we've talked about change you can never touch. Well, there you go. Yeah, those snakes are spitting water. Yeah. Bonsai! Tree. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, it might just be the wind that's moving these, but they are really big, really big uh, swan. Well, cranes, I guess. What are they? they made of like no, no, that they, they made of fluff or something. Before I thought. Of, for a moment I thought they were doing the whole uh, flower thing. Oh, well, the beak is moving on that one. Yeah, yeah I thought it was doing more of the uh, rose parade kind of thing. But no, it's, they're not made of flowers, they're made of... Yeah, paper lanterns. Oh! Birds! Do you know why the caged bird sings? No. I do not. Finches. Oh. Finches. What's up, my finches? <laughs> Got a butterfly. More fountains. And a pagoda. It's a Japanese castle. Oh, gotta check, gotta check. Do they have the... They do! The, the little golden catfish on the top, top of the... Yeah. Yeah, they're being accurate there. Those are actually very interesting why those exist. Apparently they um, are like charms against earthquakes. It's kind of weird, but... Well, you know... They made it for Japanese authenticity, not because of... Anyway, moving on. A rock garden! They are growing rocks! They are growing rocks. Because it's a rock garden. Lots of uh, art. Art is neat. Cherry trees, real cherry blossom sakura trees, fake giant butterflies. Ooh, what's this over here? A uh, thing. Okay, yeah, we can look in there, sure. We are a giant flower made of flowers. Flowerception. Waterfall, sucker for water fixtures. Just the other side of the castle there. This big shiny monolith. With big shiny balls. Those two birds there. It's like a kaiju fight. Sort of. Paper lanterns. Oh, more finches. What's up? What's up, my finches? Hi. What's up? 
Okay, see ya. Another flower made of flowers. And bonsai! Again. I found some pot, man. A really big pot. It's a, it's a huge stash, man. Koi fish. Let's try to get a better shot of the koi here. Walking up to get a better shot of the koi. What a load of carp. Yeah, because with all of those gathered there, you'd think they thought dinner arrived. They're probably people who don't, you know, try to have a Yeah, it's expensive to maintain a koi pond, though. Some nice pink gateway. Kind of cool. Uh, in like dumb ways, but it's kind of cool. They've got, they have more of that garden behind the service desks. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, my finches? Yeah. Well, that's a bluebird. These uh, these lambs, they look all nice and impressive from a distance, but when you get up close to them. Actually, kind of, kind of junky. I don't know. Maybe that's a maybe that's an allegory for being rich itself. He looks uh, looks very impressive from a distance, and everyone's all happy. But on the inside, maybe they're not happy at all. Why am I getting so deep? Hey, buddy. What you doing? Just, uh, yeah, oh, tweedly deedling, huh? Okay, sending a tweet. Anyway, it's Paris, not really. It's Paris Hotel, and that is part of the world famous Bellagio Fountain. What you think of when you think of the thing. I don't know when it's going to go off next, but there it is. I do hope to catch it at night later. To <laughs> yeah. And uh, there's the flamingo over there where we will be catching a show later on. Valleys. Doesn't really. Oh, that's Paris again. Oh. Oh. Yeah. It's uh, it's getting started here. Here we go. Steaming up. As part of the link wheel there. You don't actually look too too bad now. Oh, sorry. Yeah, well, it's gotta get started eventually, yeah? It's like a little better than the last time. Okay, to the tune of Lady Gaga for some reason. Alright.
is part of Caesar's Palace. I say part because as big as that building looks, it is absolutely massive and in multiple parts. I think it might actually be the largest hotel in Las Vegas. Certainly one of the most expensive. Hmm. If I could walk with water, I'd just go right out across there and cut that hole for me. Yeah, well, that's okay. It's the Arc de Triomphe, only not really. Again, part of Paris. Mom's having a little rest, hugging a tree. So, well, there's a couple of more performers to ambush you for money. Had, had a bit more of that than I wanted. Ladies and gentlemen, that is not how you hang umbrellas. They're upside down. This, all of this, is part of Caesar's Palace. I have no doubt in my mind that it is the largest hotel in Vegas. Definitely the most expensive. You know, it's too fancy and rich of a place, but I kind of kind of thought it would be thematically right for Caesar's Palace to have a Little Caesar's. I'll let you know later in a review or something if, whether or not it actually does. I'd be, I'd be really surprised. 